Hi, this is John San Pietro, and with the advent of the new Facebook Like button, Facebook continues to change and tweak and add to the privacy section. And quite honestly, there are more and more options for your privacy being added every week. Because these options tend to default to no privacy, it's important for you to be able to keep up with everything that's going on and all of the changes. So what I've decided to do for for you is just take you through step by step how to make sure you're maintaining complete privacy or whatever level of privacy you want to attain and achieve on your account. So remember that this is for your personal Facebook account, for your personal information. Obviously, your business information, your business page is always going to be public. So if you just follow what I do step by step, you can achieve whatever privacy level you'd like. We're going to start by coming up to the upper right hand corner and clicking on account. And then we're going to go to account settings. And that's going to take us here. The first thing we want to do is we want to come on over to Facebook ads, this last tab here. And in a Facebook ad, the stuff that you see here on your sidebar, if one of your friends is a fan, then you often see that. And this is sort of an example of what those ads look like. However, if you don't want people to know that you're a particular fan of a particular company, you can actually change these settings. So there are two settings here. The first is um, allow ad on platform pages to show my information either to my friends only or to no one and whatever you choose you then click save changes I leave it at only my friends because it's not like I'm fanning anything out of the ordinary and then show my social actions in Facebook ads to only my friends or no one again I leave it at only my friends and then I click save changes so if you don't want anybody to, anyone to know what you're doing at all you can just click no one and then click save changes after you've taken care of this, the next thing you want to do is you want to once again click on account here in the upper right hand corner and you want to come down to privacy settings and this is where we're going to spend most of our time. Once you're on the privacy settings page, we want to click on personal information and posts. And you want to make sure that you're sharing all of your personal information with, again, the, the number of people that you want to share it with. So you have a number of options. You could share it with everyone, friends of your friends, only your Facebook friends, or you can customize it. I tend to keep this, most of these, to only friends. So my bio, my birthday, my interests, religious, political views, etc., my own status updates, and again, this is just for personal stuff, I keep this to only friends. Comments that I make on posts, only friends. Do I allow my friends to post on my wall? Yes, I do, because again, they're my friends. These are all people that I know. And then posts by my friends, I allow friends of friends to see. But again, you can change that. So once you're happy with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your photo albums are protected. And this is something that a lot of people forget because we often put a lot of pictures of our family, our children in there. So you always want to make sure that your photo albums are protected. So here on the photo albums line, click edit settings. And that's going to show you who could see your profile pictures, who can see your wall photos, and who could see the different photos that you've taken. Now I actually go album by album through this and basically whenever it's a family photo I only let it be my friends. If it's nature photography which is something of a hobby of mine I let friends of friends view those as well. So once you've done all of that, once you've, you've done that, you don't even have to save it. You can actually just, once you change it, it it's saved automatically. You could just go back to privacy settings. Okay, so we've taken care of personal information. The next thing we want to look at is contact information. And again, very important. You want to make sure that your, your screen name for instant messaging, phone numbers, addresses are seen by only the people that you want to see them. In my case, that's only friends. I let my website be seen by everyone. 
I let everyone who wants to add me as a friend add me because if they want to find me and add me, then how else are they going to do it? And if anyone wants to send me a message, I let them send me a message as well. My email address, which I've blurred out here because it's a personal email address, I only allow friends to see. Okay, so again, make sure your settings are where you want them to be. The next thing we look at are friends, tags, and connections. And this again, what information do you want people to know? Who do you want to see who your friends are? I let everyone see my friends because if someone's trying to figure out if it's actually me, then a lot of times they'll do that by association. So if they see friends they recognize. So I leave that set to everyone. Uh, family members, I only let my friends see that. Relationships, I only let my friends see that. Photos and videos that I've been tagged in, I usually let friends of friends see that, but I think I'm actually going to change that to just only friends. My current city and hometown, education, activities, interests, and things I like, I'm good with everyone seeing that. So we go back to privacy. And the next thing is applications and websites. And this is where a lot of the bigger changes have taken place. So the first thing you want to look at is what you share. And if we click on learn more, you'll see that uh, it's just a help page. So you've already actually dealt with this. You don't have to click on that. What your friends can share about you is a big one. Because even if you have protected all of your privacy settings, you can still, by default, allow your friends to share things through the applications and websites that they link up to. So what you want to do is go to this page, what your friends can share about you, and just make sure all of these boxes are unchecked. When you go to it, you'll probably see check marks in there. If you don't want to share those things, just make sure that they're unchecked and click Save Changes. Very important. The next thing you want to look at is the Instant Personalization Pilot Program. This is a new thing. This has everything to do with that brand new Like button, and this is something you definitely want to edit. So we click on Edit Setting. And basically, Facebook is now automatically sharing your information with certain websites that are participating in this pilot program. If you want to opt out of that so that they don't get that information automatically, you have to come down here to the bottom and you have to take the check mark out of this box. Uncheck this box. And it says, are you sure? I am sure. I'm confirming it. And it's done. So now we go back to privacy settings. And finally, the last thing that we're going to look at is search. And we just want to make sure that, you know, again, even if you're completely private, your profile is totally searchable on search engines. So you want to make sure that you are as searchable as you want to be. So there are two options. One, can people find you on Facebook? And two, can people find you on public search engines? I have it set so that, again, if people are searching for me on Facebook, anyone can find me because that's how they have to look for me. But for public search results, I have unchecked the allow button. So if you want people to be able to find you on Google, you know, find your Facebook page, then you could check off, you could check allow. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. It's a lot, and it's always changing, and that's why I keep recording these videos to help you out, just so it makes it a little bit easier to navigate Facebook and the whole social networking landscape. If you do need help with the social networking landscape as it pertains to your business, please feel free to check out our social networking boot camps and anything else that we do in this area to help you and your business thrive on sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc. This is John San Pietro, and I thank you for listening listening.